www.newtoboss.com. This is again a tie. Yeah, we just upgraded the Samsung Galaxy S3 earlier to Android 4.1.2 uh, Jelly Bean. And this time, what I'd like to share to you would be uh, some features that's uh, included in the upgrade. Uh, as we all know, features like multi view, uh, page buddy, and some other features that you can see on a Galaxy Note 2, you should be expecting that from a uh, 4.1.2 Jelly Bean upgrade. Uh, let me first show you that the device is already on 4.1. Let's go to settings right here. Scroll down a little bit, find something that says about. Tap on that. Got something here that says 4.1.2. Let me run that. Now you got Jelly Bean right there. Uh, way back, people thought, and I myself thought so too, that Android 4.1.2 would be Keyline Pie, but it's uh, not yet. It's still Jelly Bean. So from here, what we get on a Galaxy S3 would be some, uh, I guess there'll be seven or six features, if I'm not mistaken, added to the S3 upon that update. So we first start off with something that we call multi-view. It's one of the grand features that you can see on a Galaxy Note. You got something here and something there, like split screen. You could do multitask on dual view one on top one at the bottom uh, at the point of you upgrade excuse me right uh, after you turn it back on you can see something there that looks like a, a thumb a nail or some kind of like that that you can slide through and it looks like a sidebar so I did uh, turn that off earlier because I'm trying to play on with the device to check some of the settings I'm gonna put it back on so what you do you go to your notifications right on top let me just close that back. And here you got something that says multi window right here on the right side. If you can't find that in there, you can still go to settings, go for something that says display, and here look up for notification panel, and you'd be getting that something that says multi window right there, and also. You could get that. Where's that? I've seen that earlier somewhere here. Here, you could also put a check mark on that. And see, if you put a check mark, you could get to see a sidebar right on the left side. Looks like a Windows Vista theme on an Android. So that's. Uh, I'm, I'm not pretty sure if I can change the color for this. Uh, maybe I can, but I haven't ran into that yet. So again, what you do here, this is your multi-view. From here, um, you could get to select applications that you could use or run on split screen. So let's say, um, let's go back, you would want to have your gallery right here. So when you, I'm sorry, what you do, uh, open that, tap on that, then tap on something and hold let's say gallery icon right here and drag that on to anywhere on your home screen and release that then it should give you your albums right there and again right here another one which you do to add let's say you would want to have a look at maps tap on that drag here or here see that's going to divide your screen into two parts right here and right here so let's try to put that on top there you go. So you got maps. You can even zoom that out right here. There you go. So you got maps right there, and you got your gallery right here. So that would be your multi view. All right. So again, let's try one more for the multi view. Let's say you'd want to have chat on right on top right here, and you got one more, and it says uh, internet here. So you got that right at the bottom. So you have this in case you'd want to switch. You could just tap on that arrow right there. That's what I'm missing earlier. Here, tap on that arrow. Then you got two options right here. This one is for full screen. You could have this overlaid over completely on your screen, 100%. And the second one is rotate. I mean switch. So take a look at that. You have your chat on right at the bottom now, and you have your um. 
Web Explorer right on top now. So again, click, uh, tap on that, then switch back right down, and you have that. In case you'd want to have this uh, full screen here, then you have that on full screen. So you want to go back right here and you go back again. So if you want to edit this, you can tap on edit, then you can remove, you can add, you can do all those. So again, put it back in there and it's going to stay in there. As I've observed for like about playing with this earlier, Jailbean 4.1.2 for about 15 minutes, it's not getting away, it's just sticking in there. I don't know if it's going to get away for some time, but it's just in there. If you don't need that at some point, there's always an option to keep that from there. Right here, go back to your notifications panel, then tap back on multi-window, then you don't have that in there. So again, if you need that, if you would need multi-window again to work on your S3, drop your notifications panel back again, then tap on multi-window, and there you go it's gonna come back right there okay so that's all about a multi view feature that's a multi windows multitasking feature on uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 you can also find on I mean originally on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 which will be ported to a lot of devices I believe for Samsung that would have gel bean 4.1.2 so again, for some other videos, do check out our website, tripadb.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. Thanks for watching.